Facebook is in the spotlight once again, as whistleblower Frances Haugen testifies before politicians in Brussels. Her damning revelations on the harmful practices of the social media network had the ears of MEPs, just as the European Parliament is in the process of revising laws to rein in big tech. But I am here today because I believe that Facebook's products harm children, stoke division, weaken our democracy, and much more. The company's leadership knows ways to make Facebook and Instagram safer, but they won't make the necessary changes because they have put their immense profits before people. The hearing is likely to influence talks on the EU's so-called Digital Services Act, a landmark proposal which aims to make the Internet safer and more accountable. There are for sure new proposals, new ideas, new concerns that have been raising uh, during the hearing and uh, therefore it's very helpful to have some insights and we are wondering also uh, in relation to the legislation that is discussed at the moment if we shouldn't also look for some uh, trustees that are investigating within the companies so that we can really make sure that our laws are applied on algorithms are applied on social media platforms, uh, tools uh, and advertisements so that it's sure that our laws are applied correctly. The MEP also says rules and laws in the real world must apply in the online world too. But as the legislation is being debated, Silicon Valley's lobbying is intensifying in Brussels. In the last year, the big tech giants like Google, Amazon, Facebook and Apple spent 19 million euros alone lobbying the EU. The simple thing is to reduce uh, the importance uh, and the influence of uh, uh, Facebook's uh, lobbying in the European Parliament. Because um, it's amazingly, they have uh, spending now much more money than they were spending before. Uh, they have increased their uh, uh, budget for lobbying in Brussels. Uh, so um, uh, th this must be uh, completely regulated, transparent and also reduce. The debate strikes at the very heart of the Parliament's work. According to Facebook whistleblower Haugen's testimony on disinformation, democracy itself is on the line. Christopher Pidges, Euronews, Brussels. Social media can be safe if the right rules are put in place and obeyed. The message put before the European Parliament in Brussels yesterday when the American whistleblower Francis Hogan was in town. In a very lengthy debate, she told members of the European Parliament to grab a once-in-a-generation opportunity to make the online world safer and align technology and democracy. She said that in her opinion, Facebook and its products harms children, stokes division and weakens democracy. She said the platform needed to start telling the truth and if more people knew what they were doing, they would be sceptical. Now her visit comes just as members of the European Parliament are getting ready to revise laws to catch hold of big tech with their EU Digital Services Act. Maeve McMahon, Euronews, Brussels.